okay, what if ang given ay quantum number, pero hindi binigay yung element. You have to find out ano yung element niya. So, given the quantum number, malalaman natin yung ating last na electron configuration. So, since ito yung main energy level, ito naman is the subshell. So, we can say na ang electron configuration ng element na to, or yung last electron configuration niya, is 3D. Bakit 3D? Kasi, we all know that D is equal to 2. Right? So, that will be 3D. Tapos, dito na tayo nakabase sa ating um, orbital diagram. So, since naka-3D na siya, that will be 5 orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, drawing natin, pwede siyang, so, si, ayan, so, 5 orbitals tayo. Ibig sabihin, naka 1 to, naka positive 1 to. So, naka positive 1 siya. So, definitely, it will end up here. Kasi ito ay negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. So, most probably, dito sa point na to, babagsak yung ating electrons. So, there is a possibility na ang ating... Um, na ang ating uh, electron configuration might be 3D4 or 3D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Bakit 3D4 or 3D9? Kasi yun yung dalawang possible na bumagsak sa point na to, sa location na to. Ngayon, tignan natin kung positive ba siya or negative. So, naka-positive siya, ibig sabihin naka-up yung spin niya. So, kung ang up spin natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, naka-up spin siya. So, what will be our electron configuration? That will be 3D4. So, ngayon, ano yung element sa periodic table na mag end kay 3D4? So, pwede natin isulat yung electron configuration. So, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6. 3P6, 4S2, 3D4. So, 2, 4, 10. That's 20, 24. And the 24th element in the periodic table is chromium. That is chromium. Okay, so that is how you find the element if given the quantum number.